Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Projective Freak. My name is Kevin Buddy, and today we are going to talk about formats. This is VHS format, and plus, why is full screen versions of VHSs are more common than widescreen versions of VHSs? Now, I have the movie Titanic right here. Well, I have uh, tape one, of course, and then I got the box set of tape two on widescreen. So, let's talk about why. Full screen versions are more common than widescreen versions back in the day. Full screen versions is because everybody had a 4x3 CRT TV. As like that. And this is a widescreen LCD TV. So there was a big difference from back in the day with a, when, it become, when, it beca when it came with full screen and widescreen. See... Widescreen was starting to become popular back in the day around the year 98-99. So, um, that's when the plasma TVs was starting to come around. So, But most of them, when this movie came out, it was all full screen. I think when it came out later on, later on in the year, that when, that's when this widescreen format came around. So, full screen is definitely the way to go if you guys got 4x3 TV. But... If you guys got a widescreen TV, buy the widescreen version for the Titanic. Different formats, I mean, same format, but different aspect ratios. That's what it is. Another thing that, that everybody says, that full screen version is a pan and scan. I heard that a lot, and uh, I was actually texting my friend because he wanted to get the widescreen version for the Titanic on VHS. Because me and him has a really, really... I'm not saying that, we have a, that I have a big collection, but I kind of have a... Mediocre collection. It's mostly all kid stuff, but um, yeah. So I like collecting VHSs. So everybody says that the full screen version is a pan and scan. That is true, but everybody also said that the widescreen version is a pan and scan on VHS. That is not true. The widescreen version is a true widescreen version. It is what? It has an anamorphic widescreen, so it's 1.78 to 1 aspect ratio, and then this is a 1.33 aspect ratio, which means it's a 4 by 3 and that one is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So, yeah, it's different. It's different. Everybody says that the full screen version is a pan scan, which it is, because it's full screen, because it got to fit everything through a 4 by 3 aspect ratio screen. And everybody says that the widescreen version is a pan and scan. It really depends on how your TV actually takes that signal. But when it comes to a... If you're actually watching this movie on the widescreen plasma, it's going to be true widescreen. If you're watching on the CRT, that it really depends on the VHS and how it's, um, how it's been recorded. But my friend actually says that he's trying to look for the gold version, but he did not see the widescreen badge on it. There's a widescreen badge over there, widescreen badge over there, but then on the top, man, I always get that wrong, and a widescreen badge over there. And plus, let's take out one of the VHSs because I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. Take it out. There's the difference. That is the complete difference for which format or uh, which aspect ratio for this movie. So the blue is full screen, but the gold is widescreen. I don't know if you guys can actually see that widescreen badge over there, but it does say widescreen over there. <clears throat> so this is full screen, this is widescreen. So that's the difference between the full screen version of the Titanic and the widescreen version of the Titanic, or the full screen versions of a VHS and a widescreen version of a VHS. Widescreen, the widescreen version of a VHS is a normal VHS that is just recorded on widescreen, widescreen aspect ratio. Everybody says that the full screen, it is a D theater uh, tape. Completely false. Completely false. Because if you want to get a D theater, if you want to get a D theater tape, you have to get a D theater VHS player. So it's... So it's the same format, but it's pre-recorded in high def. This is just widescreen standard def. So I'm just going to pop these two tapes in there and actually show you guys the differences between full screen and widescreen. 
and why that this is not a pan scan, but this one is. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm back here and I got my thing all set up and ready to go. So, first things first, we are going to do the full screen version of the Titanic. So let's turn on my CRT. Okay, it's open. I mean, it's turned on. Now, let's pop it in. Now, you guys will actually see the difference between these two tapes. Actually, the true thing is that the widescreen version has a THS soundtrack and the full screen version does not. So that's that's a little thing that you guys should actually learn about that the full screen version did not have THS soundtrack and the widescreen version did. Pretty weird, but whatever. Let's pop it in. Actually see. Okay. Alright, so you guys actually saw the Paramount logo, right? Alright, saw the Paramount logo. Now, let's pop in the widescreen format. I mean, widescreen aspect ratio. And actually see what that looks like. Let's just continue playing it, so we actually could do this section of the movie. And I'm not going to get paid for this. So this is the widescreen version of the Titanic. Now. This, now this uh, tape does not have pan and scan. As you guys can already tell by the bars on the top and the bottom, it is a true widescreen format. Okay. So, we got that one settled. Now let's pop in the full screen, and we'll see what's the real difference. Here we go. Here's the difference. This is the full screen version. See how everything is all panned in? Everything's all panned in. Do you guys see that? You didn't really see the bars on the top and the bottom? So that is it, you guys. That is the difference between a widescreen VHS and a full screen VHS. Yes, there is a difference. Close my CRT over here. Yeah, there is a difference between the two. The two, uh. The two uh, formats, not really format, but the two versions, and all I have to say, if you guys got a 4x3 TV, just stick with the full screen version. You guys won't get that bars on the top and the bottom, but it will pan and scan what it what the film is. But if you guys want the widescreen format and you guys want to see the full, the like everything on the screen, get the widescreen version. Alright, those are the two differences between... The full screen version of a VHS and the widescreen version of a VHS. Was widescreen VHS popular back in the day? Not really. It wasn't really that common because, like I said, everybody had 4x3 TVs. 
So full screen was definitely kicking the widescreen's ass in white in uh, VHS format. All right, you guys. So that's the differences, and I hope you guys leave a like. Please subscribe, and there'll be more projector videos and more format videos, more video format videos later on of this year. So I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.